Good morning, everyone. It's a beautiful day in the garden after a nice rain last night. I wanted to talk to you today about butterflies. I've been watching some swallowtail caterpillars in the garden. Here's a pretty good sized guy. So he's snacking on some carrot tops, which is a host plant favorite of theirs, along with dill and fennel, parsley. I've never actually seen them on parsley myself, but um, those are some things that they like. And then here's another guy over here. He's kind of hiding in there. Here's some dill that I saw multiple on earlier in the season. And you can see that they've really snacked this down pretty good. Some more activity and some carrot tops over here. And then here's a very good sized one over here. I think these are so beautiful. A way that you can tell the swallowtail from the monarch butterfly. The swallowtail are more of this lime green and they have these kind of dotted yellow um, stripes to them. The monarch butterfly is more of a true stripe with yellow, black, and white, and they also have antennas on both ends. So that's a way you can kind of tell. Um, so these will be black swallowtail or yellow swallowtail perhaps. I'm not 100% sure on how to tell the um, different kinds of swallowtail butterfly caterpillars apart. Um, again, this guy's on carrots. And I'm looking, um, right now I'm looking at them in our locker gardens. So you can register your um, garden with the North American Butterfly Association, and you can also register um, as a monarch watch station. I did the certified wildlife habitat with the National Wildlife Federation because we really love all the creatures. And although we have enough um, pollinator plants and milkweed and milkweed varieties, um, I wanted to register with something that encompassed a greater variety of um, our creature friends. So over here on this side of the garden we have a lot of milkweed. We have a few different varieties. Um, I haven't seen a caterpillar over here to show you, um, but yesterday I did see my first monarch so I was pretty excited about that. Um, I know that the caterpillars are around because you can see on this leaf here that they've been snacking. So milkweed is the host plant for monarchs and that's why it's so important to have um, milkweed and why, that's why there's so much talk about that. Um, again, the, the swallowtail will enjoy the milkweed um, as the bees, but this is the host plant for the monarch butterfly. And as we cruise over here, I do have some more dill. They haven't done anything over here yet, so I may be able to harvest and use that. Um, see, I don't see anybody. And over here, I wanted to talk to you about fennel. So fennel is an amazing host plant for the swallowtail butterfly. Um, we've seen quite a bit of activity over here um, the years. This is a bronze fennel, which is different than the fennel bulb that you think of eating like in a salad or grilled or such. This has a nice bronzy tip to its foliage. Um, it's great in salads. You can make a simple syrup out of it. Um, you can dry it. Uh, the foliage is great for floral arrangements and it gets a nice yellow flower which is kind of like a dill um, looking flower. We actually use that in our wedding bouquets and also um, we dry the seed and then we use that in cooking. And let's see, I know there's a couple guys hanging on over here. Here. A little bit blurry, but here's a caterpillar right here, swallowtail. And then I started looking for, once I realized what I actually needed to be looking for, let's see if we can find somebody. Here we go. There's a couple guys I see. Smaller. It's very blurry, sorry. There's a small caterpillar here. Maybe we can get a better view of this one. There we go. 
So when they're smaller, they have this look to them, black with like a white stripe. Um, and even tinier, sometimes they look like a little teeny puff. Um, oh, here's another guy right here. So we're seeing a lot of activity, um, finger for scale, dirty garden finger. Um, we're seeing a lot of activity or, or maybe I'm noticing more on here as I realize what I need to be looking for. Um, let's get back here. Here's another decent size swallowtail caterpillar right here. He, he's having some really good snacks in there. Oops. Anyway, so we've got a number of, um, there's another tiny guy down here. Hey guy. So we've got a number of caterpillars in here. And, um, we're happy to have some host plants for those guys. So it's really beautiful to see um, we've seen a couple cocoons over the years, um, and it's just beautiful to watch the process. Um, and then as they emerge and flit all around the garden, it's really, really awesome. And of course, wonderful pollinating for vegetables, um, their yield, and yeah. So that's my little tidbit on butterflies.